So any cubic Cobra Go. I know there's a lot of people out there that have been struggling with this printer. And uh, honestly, I struggled with it a fair amount too. Fortunately, it's not my first printer, so I already had some experience before I started getting into this thing. But today I wanted to talk about bed adhesion. So that's just one item, but how do you know if a printer is good? Well, I think it's when you can repeat prints and do it easily. There shouldn't be any struggling. One of the items that you need to address to ensure that you have your Z offset correctly is you need to know that the filament will stick to the bed. So on the top here, I have two cubes and you'll notice that I have a very wide brim that I place onto the cube. So I'll explain that in just a moment. But the very, very first thing, you've probably heard it a million times, is clean your bed. So grab some ISO uh, alcohol, grab a piece of paper towel, wipe down the top deck, and just make sure that it's clean. Your fingers uh, have oil on them, and sometimes you're gonna be transferring oils or whatever from your hands to that top plate, and that can interfere with bed adhesion. That being said, so that's the very, very first step, and that's an easy one. But it took me a while to be able to get to the point where I was able to just print this calibration cube time after time after time where I could get it right every time. And uh, these cubes now are 20 millimeters by 20 millimeters. I can print them one after the other. I always put the wide brim on. The wide brim gives you time to be able to adjust your Z offset. I always raise the Z offset up high and then I'll lower it down until I get to the point where I'm getting some uh, adherence. Then I'll use my fingernail to test it. How difficult is it to remove? Uh, there's going to be a little video clip coming up where I'll show you exactly what I do for that. And I'll start over and over again if I have to, to make sure that I've got good adhesion to the bed before I go and try to do a large print. So you'll notice that, and the colors are slightly different because I'm using a rainbow filament, but you can see that the uh, brim around them is slightly different. The only reason why is because I took a little more time pulling back the filament from the bed with my fingernail to test to make sure that it was well adhered. So it's come out great. Uh, the two of them are awesome. I feel like I'm finally starting to tame this beast, at least with uh, things other than the owl. The owl has always printed fantastic. The very first print was uh, better quality than my other printer, but other items were questionable when they'd come out. But like I said, now I'm, I'm to the point where I've got it, I feel like I've got it dialed in. So. I have printed multiples of this thingy hand and the finish came out absolutely amazing. Uh, this is one of those rainbow uh, filaments that I printed it with. But so I have printed the small version of this hand. I have printed it where it's printed this way. So there's a lot of overhang. I put no supports onto this thing, but I did put a big brim onto the hand to make sure that it was well adhered to the bed before printing the whole thing and then it's easy enough to remove it and you just clean up the edges after it's been removed but i've i printed uh numerous this size but i've also printed a couple that are almost full height of the ability of the printer and they've come out fantastic so when i'm not sure and that was the case with the big hand what I ended up doing, just to be on the safe side, I put the big brim on it, but I also used a glue stick. And I mean, you can get these glue sticks at the dollar store for a buck or two uh, type of thing. And I often will use the glue stick on the bed, and I won't clean it off. I'll just keep reusing the bed until I finally feel like, oh, okay, I'll take it upstairs. I'll wash it off with soap and water, get it all good and clean and dry then clean it off with the iso alcohol. So don't always use the glue, but when I did the big hands, it's a long print. It was 16 hours 
uh, total for that hand. So I didn't want things to go south because it became unattached to the bed. I really hope that this will help uh, people out, you know, to be able to discover the fact that this printer can work well. But it'll take a little bit of uh, patience, a little bit of comprehension, and then try, try again. Anyways, I hope it helps. So right now, I am too high, and I can clearly see that I am clearing the bed by multiple millimeters. So I always like to grab a hold of the strand while I'm dialing down in, and I'm pulling away the filament and while I'm dialing it down, I'm slowly moving down. This is the Z offset that I am tweaking. And I like that wide brim so that I can see what's going on. Now, you want to use your fingernail to be pulling off the filament so that you're not transferring the oils from your hand onto the bed. Okay, so, but I just want to show you, this is what I'm doing. I'm not wasting a lot of filament. I'm wasting a little bit of filament, but I'd way rather waste this little bit making sure that I get the uh, filament well attached. So I'm getting very close now. So and I'll just pull the mess away as I need it. It still comes off reasonably easy. So I'm looking for where it gets difficult to pull with my fingernail. I'm still not there yet. So let's check and see. We must be very close. You want to do this slowly. So that seems pretty good to me right there. So the filament is sticking in all locations. The wide brim really helps you to be able to look at all sides. Because if you didn't have the wide brim while you're doing this cube, you won't be able to see what's happening because the print head will be covering it. So that's looking pretty good uh, to me now. And I don't care about this little bit of material that's sticking off to the side. Let it do its thing. So I'm going to move just so that you can see better that it's laying down that nice brim all the way around. And you know, you can start and stop this thing as many times as you want or need to and just start over again before you go into a detailed print. So there I am right now. I'm at negative 1.500 millimeters. And I'll take note of that. And that works for my bed leveling and where the positioning of my sensor is at the moment. So I stopped the print and I peeled this off because I wanted to share with you that one of the ways that I know that I've got a good Z offset is that the it'll be very, very smooth, this piece of brim, but it's also very difficult to put your fingernail through it when it is well adhered. So smooth and difficult to crack. If you're too high, then it'll be very, very easy for you to be able to split this with your fingernail, and this is not. So... Uh, just wanted to share that detail with you. Wow, that's looking pretty amazing. That's a pretty significant overhang with no supports. And the finish looks amazing. Well, it's just looking absolutely spectacular so far. Wow.